Hello guys, my name is Steven. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I have a very special video for you guys. This is Pokemon Celebration celebrating 25 years of Pokemon. And this has just released like a week ago or something like that. And I'm very excited to get a deeper dive into it and open my first ever ETB or just taking my first ever look into this set in general. I have been away for a while because I moved into uni. I'm currently in my accommodation. I'm living with other flatmates and stuff. So I'm trying to keep my voice down because the walls are quite thin so i'm apologizing in advance if you hear any background noise or hear any loud music any coughs any screaming that's just them outside um this is my first pokemon video in a while and i have a few videos that i need to edit for example my chilling rains etb and also my chilling rain booster box that i opened like a, a month or two ago now it's been quite a while i pulled some really good stuff i still need to edit that and because i haven't uploaded any pokemon videos in a while i've actually wrapped up quite a few things so after moving to my university there's a smith toy superstore not too far from here i went there and uh, they had a little bit of pokemon and i picked up the dragonite v box here and also pokemon celebration the binder for like big cars and you can see on the back here they give you a pikachu so yeah i picked up these two things from smith toys and then earlier on this week i went to games and they had the zation v union box here that i also picked up which looks so cool and also they were doing a little promotion on purchases over 15 pounds they give you a promo card and i have the subble here on the ball which is actually worth a lot of money i believe this is going for like 20 pounds online and i paid 35 or 32 pound 50 for this so i just got a free 15 pound the ball card basically which is awesome i'm gonna keep this sealed and stuff and then i also got myself an evolving skies etb here i'm so excited to open this i'll probably open this after the celebrations i'll do the videos right after each other um so if you want to you know see me open this stick around stay tuned subscribe it'll be out later Later, a few days or a week later after this video drops this will also be my first time ever opening evolving skies but it depends on whether i'm opening this first or the v box or the v union box because they do come with like one pack of evolving skies i believe and not only that but i also picked up this here which is the flareon tin and i got this and this from the same seller thank you so much quick shout out to them if anyone wants to check out their store you can go ahead check them out in the description below i'll link both the website and the instagram page a small pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh seller yep thank you steven enjoy thank you very much ptcg uk right here and they also sent this for free so i can sleeve up my stuff which i'll be using in this video today i'm pretty much ready sleeves top loader and the etb sorry for the long introduction i just wanted to give a quick update on like my current situation and stuff the accommodation is actually not that big um i mean there's a little bit of room a little bit of uh, walkway here but the space is still quite tight so if you guys don't know before at home i used to i used to record my videos on my bed so this is just a tabletop on top of my bed and i would put my tripod um and my camera on the bed and stuff like that so it's a little bit awkward and same situation here i'm still recording it on the bed because right behind me less than a meter away is my desk the desk is quite big but other than that there's not much like recording room if you get what i mean so i'm um, still on the bed it's been working fine for me the lighting situation as you can see here is a little bit darker compared to my regular videos because there's no outlets like in front of me here so i can't actually plug in a light and have it shine down this way so the light is actually behind me which is not ideal you can see that the lights come here and the shadow is reflecting down here but i also have a side light there that's warmer i'm sure you guys don't really care that much but pokemon celebration elite trainer box here that looks very very pretty the sides and then the bottom pikachu's tail i'm very excited for this then on the inside it says train on with the pattern all around and the 25 logo of pikachu there i love how everything is just pikachu themed no complaints because i love pikachu and here we go with the players guide you have you can see all the starters over here i believe they are i'm familiar with a few of them i recognize actually i recognize all of these but i don't know the name for all of them oh and also the card list here which i'll take a look at now and select my goal card for this video okay so there are a few cards that catch in my eye i love all the cards in here there's 50 cards so it's quite a relatively small set but it's also a specialty set but oh my god all these cards are so pretty coming from the pikachu cards all the way to the old school cards here oh my god and one of my favorite cards the reshiram and zekrom here it looks so cool i want the reshiram that's one of my gold cards but in this video my gold card is actually something relatively small it's not the mew it's not the blastoise or charizard or venusaur it is the 
Here comes Team Rocket trainer card. Team Rocket is just so funny in the anime and I love Team Rocket. I'm relatively new to the hobby. I've only collected Shining Fates, some Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain. So yeah, I haven't opened like any old school cards or anything like that or like older packs. So I haven't seen a Team Rocket card before. If I get one here, it'll be my first time ever owning a Team Rocket card. Don't know if you heard that, but they just came back. So yeah, I'm very excited. That is my goal card for this video because I love Team Rocket and I want a Team Rocket card. So obviously we have the usual here, these two, and also the game rule booklet. And then the dice here, as you can see, wow, they look very nice. Especially that see-through yellow with the Pikachu color, that is awesome. Every time the dice looks so good, other than the Shining Fakes one, I don't like the brown on that. All the other dice I've seen look really cool. And this is no exception, this looks so good. Celebration pack, ooh, they look so nice, but also so thin because I believe that there is less cards compared to the normal packs. So you get 10 celebrations and then also each one of the Sword and Shields, I believe, which is awesome. This is so much money right here. 10 packs of celebration and then also five packs of the normal sets on top of the celebration. I love that, that's so many packs. You have your energy cards here and also the sleeves. The sleeves look very, very nice. I'm gonna take a look after the video myself, just like, you know, taking a look at them. The code cards, I'm not gonna to give to you guys, unfortunately, because I do want some of these stuff for myself, especially these sleeves and stuff on the online game. And I've been getting more into it, and I've been playing more, and the more you play, obviously, the more cards you wanna collect in the actual game. I'm not giving anything out for this video. Here we have the card dividers, very, very nice. And then also, ooh, the Greninja. I, I haven't seen this card before. I don't know what it actually is, but Greninja with the golden star. This looks very, very cool. It's also one of the, the older styles. So this looks very, very nice indeed. And it's kind of like popping out of here. And the hollow. I believe all these cards in celebrations are a hollow. And if I'm correct, I believe that they are cards that are very popular or had a big influence on the TCG world. So um, all these cards in the celebrations mean something important and that's why they're in there. It just makes sense because those cards are special. Battle Stars, I haven't opened Battle Stars before and Chilling Rain. I'm gonna leave Chilling Rain for last. I'm gonna open Battle Stars and then these two after. This is my first time opening Battle Stars. I've never opened a Battle Stars card before. Oh spoiled it but here you go here's the card for battle styles i'll give that one i'll give all the codes for these but these if they do have codes or whatever i'm gonna save it but yeah battle styles i've never opened this set before so let's see what we get our first pack luck well i saw that was a white code card so um we're gonna get something good we're gonna get a pool but let's see what it is we have a cacnea a shinx here a sizzly bead sorry getting my words mixed up we have a cubone here in the reverse and then the card below that is a hollow ember okay when i saw that white code card i was thinking like a b card <laughs> but it's a hollow ember which is pretty cool we're gonna put this down here and then the next one is vivid voltage do you guys see any like black stuff on my nails if you see any of this i did not roll in the mud i've used paint recently and that paint has caused my nails to or my fingers to you know be black they were black paint nothing to be scared of my nails looked absolutely horrible because of the black paint but i managed to um clean it to, to the best of my ability obviously it's still it's still there some of it but i cleaned it the best i could and uh yeah moving on to vivid voltage this is so the way i took the card out of the pack i believe um didn't actually reveal the back of the code card and just show the code so i don't know whether this is a pull or not second pack in ev we have a C dot here. Oh, I just I just revealed the card underneath, but we have a reverse and then a hollow, another hollow of Magurna. Magurna, I have no idea how to say that, but that is a cool artwork. I don't think I've seen this Pokemon before. So that's interesting. It's also in a hollow form. I'm sure this Pokemon has been out for a while, but this is my first time ever seeing it and I have no idea how to pronounce it. And now moving on to the two Darkness of Blaze packs. This was so easy to open. I don't know why. It, it looked like it was resealed or something, but that was so easy to open. Here you go. Here's the code. Four, to the back 
oh, it feels so good. Just opening packs again, you know, doing the card trick, 40 at the back and stuff like that. Haven't done that in so long. And I'm so happy, I'm so excited to be able to go through all those cards again and just do, you know, the card trick and just opening in general. Oh my God, a Ducklet. That is such a cute Pokemon, such a cute artwork. Also the first time I've seen a Ducklet. Never seen a Ducklet before. Darumaka? I think that's how you say it, a Darumaka? No idea, but Gal Galarian form there. And we have the Lavatar, also such a cute Pokemon. I love that Pokemon. A Swanna, a Swanna in the reverse here, very nice. And then a card below that is a Mimikyu, non hollow. Okay, so moving on to our second Darkness Ablaze here. This is our second and final Darkness Ablaze. We have Bird Keeper, seen that one for sure. We have a Soul Rock here. I haven't seen that artwork before. That is creepy. A relic hunt. I have no idea what this is, but somehow it's scary. A fletchling here. Very cute. A wimpod. That is a very cute artwork. And also the first time I'm hearing that name. A grimer. Definitely know this one. A clink. And then we have another ducklet. And then an Ampharos in a reverse here. Very nice. And then a couple of that is a Flygon normal rare, no hollow. And now we are moving on to Chilling Rain. I heard someone call this Chilling Pain in, in the subreddit. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that because personally, the ETB, I didn't get very good pulls, but the booster balls, I got some good pulls. I got an alternate artwork and also a secret rare, but I guess the painful part was that the cards were cut super terribly. Like Chilling Rain, I don't know what's up with Chilling Rain, but they had some horrible horrible cuts, absolutely horrible cuts all throughout the quality control. Um, I don't know what it was, but they just had some really bad cuts. I'm hoping Evolving Skies and Celebration is not the same because Shining Fates has some really nice cuts and then I think the, the quality control dropped or something. But yeah, Chilling Rain man, it was terrible. Here we have a Clara in the reverse and then a card below that is a Malamar, right heavy, top heavy, Chilling Rain. Come on. So that is it guys for the normal packs, the normal sets. And now we move on to celebrations. Each one of these feels so thin compared to the regular packs. But here we go, pulling it down there and moving on to our first one. This is so scary to open. Oh, so we do have a code card. I didn't know whether they had code cards or not, but apparently they do. I'm gonna keep these for myself, sorry guys but I do want to get some of these cards. So I don't know if there's like a card trick for this. There's two little cards and I don't know it. So I'm just gonna scroll one by one. And the first one we have is a Dialga. Dialga, one of my favorite legendaries right here. And then the card underneath, ooh, wow. That is such a nice artwork. Can you guys see that properly? Oh my God. That is a really nice hollow right there. Wow, wow, wow. And then the card below that, oh my God. It looks so damn good. A guard chomp, see? Level X. Oh my God, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I just know that this is so nice. I'm that new into Pokemon card collecting. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. That looks so nice. And then card below that is a Mew in hollow, which looks very cool, very, very cool. Hold on a minute. I just want to take a moment to appreciate the cut on this card. Do you see that? Do you guys see that cut right there? That is really good. On the back as well, maybe a little bit left heavy. Well done celebrations, damn. This is a really nice cut. I'm gonna just leave this up just like that. Wow, very, very nice. Holy crap, that is such a cool card. That is such a cool card. I love these old cards or like the old style. I own a few like random, random old style cards like from the CP6 and also Evolutions, XY Evolutions, they have some of that. And I, I just love the old card look. I think they look awesome. I believe that Team Rocket card is actually, oh, here we go, another Kyogre with a really cool holographic. I believe that Team Rocket card is quite common. I'm not too sure, but I believe it is quite common. So hopefully I do see it. This is two packs in. I believe I got eight more. I hope I do see that card there. Oh, wow. Professor's research in a hollow, obviously. But wow, the way he's just like coming off here gives it such a nice look. Moving on to our third pack of celebrations here. Flipping it over. Oh, another Dialga. This is very common and the Kyogre, I'm guessing because you know, I'm just opening it myself. I haven't really watched many videos on um, celebration, but I'm seeing a lot of duplicates of these cards. So I'm guessing they're quite common. This is a very cute artwork here. I'm not sure what her name is, 
So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is a Lilith or something like that. But that is a very cute artwork. The card below that is a Cosmog with her again in the background. And then the card below that, ooh, a Pikachu. So we went from a really good card to a not so good card. I believe this card is also very common. I've seen it quite a few times. You can see that reflection there, that shine all across. I'm gonna put that down here because that is quite a cool card okay flipping this over i believe oh yes a lugia this is my favorite legendary pokemon right here first time i saw him on tv i was a kid and i just fell in love with him and then the card below is another one of this with lilith in the back i'm avoiding saying its name because i don't know how to say it cos cosmoan i don't know but oho here very very nice one of the legendary birds and then card below we have another professor's research here i don't mind collecting duplicates of any of these because every time i look at them or at least for now i'll probably get sick later on but for now every time i look at them they look so awesome but yeah i i hope i'm hoping i get one of the oh this is so cute holy crap i was about to say as well i hope i get one of the old old school cards in the set like that team rocket card in my gold card there i just want to collect one of these old school cards and here we have it and the card below it is a zamazenta v card here that is also very very cool the first v card i've gotten in the set wow that was a very nice pack giving us a v card as well as this crazy looking pikachu card here <laughs> can we pull that team rocket cards I really want that Team Rocket card guys. Wow, a Yubitool, that is such a cool artwork there. It's a little bit hard to tell that it's a hollow to be honest, but it is a hollow, every single card is a hollow. And that is a very, very dope artwork we have there. Very nice, very nice. And the card below that is a Palkia. So we got that Dialga and now we have the Palkia to go with it. Awesome, awesome. And then we have a Lunana, Look, looks very dramatic. Yeah, that's the word. Very dramatic, but also very cool at the same time. My foot's starting to hurt a little bit standing up and uh, doing this video. I've been standing up for a while, a while now, yeah. So the back of my foot, the heel, starting to hurt because the floor is also made out of wood. So um, it's not very soft and it's not very pleasant either to stand on, especially for long periods of time. But I'll pull up with it, I'll pull up with it because I just got a professor's research, Professor Oak, the full art trainer cards, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is such a nice card. So yeah, I just put a sleeve on it. I don't have many full art trainer cards, so being able to get one, that is awesome. And the card also, that's pretty good. A little bit right heavy. Top bottom looks nice. And then on the back, it also looks pretty nice. Oh my God, I might get this sent in to get created. So we're counting down the packs and we're counting down our chances on getting that Team Rocket card. This is the third to last pack here. Let's see if we can get it in the remaining three packs, including this one, because it's such a nice card. I really want it. Lugia again. Oh, nice. This isn't the card I wanted, but it is a Team Rocket. Rocket's admin training card, the old, old school looking card. That is so dope. I love the little lines here in the background. That looks very cool. And then the card below, we have another Zamazenta V card. We just doubled up on the Zamazenta V card, guys. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Still in search of the classic Team Rocket card, you know, with Jesse, Jane, and the Meow, you know, the, the trio. I love them so much. In every episode, they, they pop up. They are so fun. Money. And this is the second to last pack, so let's see if we can get him. Nope, not in this one. It's only a meow. Wait, sorry, not a meow. A mew, a mew. I was thinking of meow from Team Rocket, so that's why I said that. The last pack here. Whew. I am going to need a bit of luck if I want to get that card. But anyways, this is the last pack right here. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that Reshiram card. That is awesome. Anyway, I just interrupted myself. Let's see if we can get it. I don't mind getting another Pokemon um, Celebration booster box because they are pretty good because these are so cool. It's only 50 cards. There is a very good chance of me collecting every single card in the set. And the card below that, oh, oh my God. Yes, the Reshiram. Oh yes, the Reshiram card that I wanted so badly. Oh my God. Look at how nice that looks wow 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 i'm not complaining i am not complaining the last pack and i pulled that wow wow <laughs> the main focus is on this oh my god once again the cut is nice when it comes down to like the actual pool cards the cut is very very nice and this was one of my pool cards i mean this was one of my gold cards i know the gold card for this video was the team rocket but 
I also had this in mind. So yeah, even though we didn't manage to get that Team Rocket card, I still managed to get my other gold card. So I'm not complaining. I'm definitely in the future, in the near future or something, when I get some more money, I'm definitely going to be buying more celebrations because I am on the hunt for all of these cards. 50 and I want to get 50 out of 50. Wow, that was a very, very nice video. Let's recap everything that we got. These were from the normal sets up here, both hollows. And then the rest here, we have pulled straight just from the celebrations. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pulls. I'm not sure if these are actually pulls, but they are very, very cool looking cards. Oh wait, I said eight for this. This is the promo card, so that didn't count. I'm talking about this one up here. There we go. Let's put that down there instead. I'm not sure if these are actual pool pools, but they look very nice. So they're just here. 10 packs of celebrations. I love the set. <laughs> what can I say? This is such a cool set. I'm definitely going to be getting more. I am unemployed and, and I'm living by myself in a dorm and I have rent to pay and I have food, groceries and just I have expenses now. So I can't really spend all my money on Pokemon cards. Says the one that bought all those other stuff. Yeah, I know. But like, you know, it's just it's just impulse buying. There's a good chance of me impulsively buying another Celebrations trainer box as well. But these are really cool cards and this is a really cool set and this is the only chance I'll be able to get in order to pull like the old school cards live myself from an actual pack instead of just buying the single cards I want to I want to be able to experience that you know if you want to see the notification for this video make sure you hit that notification bell after subscribing and this will be out shortly after this video is released but yeah on that note guys thank you so much for watching I hope you really enjoyed this video I had such a blast opening this it's good to be back and opening packs you know I love this kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, which is this one. Bye-bye.